Hey everybody, Louis Skibel here from Power Mods. People have been asking me about Chinese quality parts and pieces that we use as replacement parts. Now I've just recently purchased these carbs for my ATCs, my old Honda. Now I got these carbs and I thought I should sort of tell you and uh, discuss my feelings about how these things work. Now, we're kind of our worst own enemy when it comes to this kind of thing because we don't want to spend a lot of money fixing these things up so we go to something like this and to be honest with you there's no alternative you can't get a carburetor for your Honda ATC or ATV now for the older models there's Honda just doesn't supply them for the most part so you can get these pretty cheap on eBay this one here is for the uh, 200e model and it looks like a pretty good copy of the original, right? Now there was a slight difference when I did get this carburetor. The piston, the slide up on the top here was a different size and you know what, this one didn't run right off the bat. I had to make you mess around with it, play with the jetting, and eventually it ran no problem. But I got a cool ultrasonic cleaner and I cleaned up one of the originals and I'm just using that on it. But on my Honda 200X, it is now running a Chinese carb. I was having issues with it, popped that new carb in, kicked it over, it started up first pull, which is pretty amazing. Now, when you buy something like this, it's more or less built to spec for probably many different models. They don't know what environment you're riding in, what altitude, and according to, uh, you know, even Honda manufacturer themselves, there's different jettings for different altitudes, so you're going to want to check that. What I did was, I took all the brass parts out of my carb, the old school Honda carb, and I replaced them all in this Chinese model. So my 200X is running great. The plug looks awesome. I'm not running into any issues. So you know what? It's a cheap replacement. It works for me. Um, the longevity, the quality of the parts, not quite the same. No, you can just tell by looking at some of these little things that they're not quite the same quality. Let's take a look inside here. Let's see what this looks like. Some of the castings are a little poorer quality, but they, you know, they, they do the trick. How long they'd last? Not quite sure. Will you get 30 years out of them again? Mm, I'm going to say that I doubt it unless you don't use it very much. You can see that the float's a little different. Needle and seat's a little different. Some of these parts you can't really swap over. This float won't fit in that carburetor in the, uh, the original stock carb. You're limited on your choices, right? You can't buy a brand new one from Honda. And even if you could, would you want to spend $250? This one here, I think cost me $26. The one for the 200X is right around the same price, plus shipping. I got it for under $40 or $50. So there you go. For me, these carburetors have worked. I'm gonna suggest that you check out some of the online forums when it comes to the Honda ATCs or ATVs. See what dealers on eBay that the guys are buying through or the aftermarket shops and uh, go with those. At least go with something that is recommended. You can go on my forum, powermods.com slash forum, or you can go right on to powermods.com and just check the little forum box there and it'll bring you right in and you can see where I got all this stuff. So I gotta thank you guys for watching. Those are my thoughts on Chinese carburetors.